There are plenty of budget smartphones out there and while they are far from perfect, some people just want a basic device that gets the job done without breaking the bank. The Doogie X5 Max Pro is one of those devices that offers pretty good specs for the price of about $80 US. My name is Linus and here is my full review. The phone ships with all the usual stuff, no extras included. As far as design, you can't expect much from a cheap device. The Doogie phone is made entirely of plastic which makes it look kind of cheap but the overall build quality is great. We have a plastic trim along with tactile buttons on the side. Since the device has only 5 inches 720p display, the phone is compact and it is comfortable to hold in the hand. Speaking of that display, well it's not the sharpest out there but it is decent enough for everyday use. We have an 8 megapixels interpolated front firing camera. However, there is no LED notification light and the capacitive buttons are not backlit. The phone has a replaceable huge 4000 mAh battery. Also, we have two SIM card slots and the micro SD card slot for storage expansion. As for the main camera, we also have an interpolated 8 megapixel shooter. The fingerprint sensor may not be the fastest out there, but it is usable and it unlocks the phone straight from the standby mode. The loudspeaker quality is not that great like on most of the cheap phones. When it comes to hardware, the Doogie X5 Max Pro ships with a quad-core MTK6737 chip, 2GB of RAM and 16GB of expandable storage. As usual to MTK6737 chips, you can play some 3D games only with some skipped frames and a little bit of stutter. However, games like Asphalt 8 run fine on medium graphics. The phone ships with Android 6.0 out of the box and you should expect to have a pretty much stock Android experience. Well, there are some extra features like gesture and motion controls. Some of them work fine while others are kind of slow to respond. In general, the user interface performance is decent. Well, you should expect a little bit of stutter once you install a lot of apps and run them in the background but nothing major. When it comes to the image quality, you can't expect much from any cheap phone and the Doogie X5 Max Pro is no exception. Well, you can take some usable pictures for social media needs but nothing more. The situation becomes even worse in low light, the pictures look just terrible. The selfies actually look a lot better. Sure, they are far from the best but there will be enough quality for social media needs. When it comes to connectivity, the phone does everything quite well. The GPS lock speeds are fast but it could be more accurate when you use it with navigation apps. The 4000 mAh battery performs really well. I could constantly get about 6.5 hours of screen on time or use the phone for at least a couple of days. However, the phone does not support fast charging feature. At the end of the day, the Doogie X5 Max Pro has a few caveats like all the cheap phones but it is a decent device for the price of just about 80 bucks as it offers decent specs and design and pretty good overall performance. <laughs>